All right, today I'm doing an updated version of my Nova Knight Fiendsmith. Then I would show the combo explaining how um, you could do a certain combo that also Snake Eyes can do. And the credit for the co combo will go to Colt of Dakota. No, no. He goes to my locals um, on Tuesday, so thank him for this uh, this info. At least the Fantasy Spin combo. Um, I got that from him. That uh, idea from him. So, all right. Let's go with the Noble Knight stuff. Two Autorguses, three grains, and yeah, grains not once per turn. By the way, you can spend as long as you control a light normal monster. You can spend someone as me at D. These three of these as you can. Two Kessenin. You can special summon this. When you have a crypt card, another one's a crypt card. This you can summon off a Camelot. Here's the summon off a Camelot. Then three Heritage of the Chalice. Two Camelot. That can be shared with Heritage since it has the Noble Arms in its name. One, um, Noble Knights around the table. You don't want the brick on this because. Camelot can bring this out easily from the deck to the field zone. Then best of a Torgus monster or church of noble arms card. You, most you want to do with Camelot is bring out a Torgus from the deck or uh, graveyard with it. Now here's the four noble arms car, crypt cards. Galleon, Caliber, Destiny, and Clarence. These explanatory, I hope. Now for the Fiendsmith engine. I still own three engraver. One crimson. This is new. One crimson tears. One fable. Fable array, and one track. Yep. This is also kind of explanatory for those who know the Fiendsmiths. Now for the hand traps. Three ass blossoms. Three ghost ogres. Two Morgan. Oh yeah, let me explain why Morgan's a hand trap. It's a hand trap for noble knights. Because if I control a Noble Knight, it says when your opponent activates a card or a fat while you control a Noble Knight monster and a Noble Arms equip spell, quick effect, I can send this card to the graveyard, destroy one Noble Arms equip spell, I control it. If I do, negate the activation. Now includes Nibiru. Any card or effect you're trying to activate, have this in hand. Have a noble knight equipped with a noble arms. That's a quick. It's a quick effect. Then Misty met the mutt. Two ball drakes. And three infinite impairments. All right, that's it for the hand traps. Now the unknown engine. Vanity's fiend. Called by. Three cross out designators and. One a a angel statue as a wound. You probably, I probably should explain this. I have silhouette rabbit in the ester. I will explain that. This I will explain the combo and the and later in this video, hopefully. Now 
Now on to the Astro deck. Down to the fusions. One um one Desiree, one Necro Crypt Princess, one Area Year. That's a bridge into Vanity's Fiend. Because you could dub any Rand's Fusion Seven, I could dub anything from the deck to the grave. Very good. SP not to the links. SP Middle Knight. Silhouette Rapid that will explain my um trap car as a rune. IP Moon Moon of the Close Heaven. This is good going first. When I mean, you're trying to get bridge into the um Fiend Smith. Oh yeah, um Fiend Smith Secrets and Fiend Smith's um Requiem. That's all for the links. Now to the seeds. M7, Custer, and Palmer in 7. That's another way. It, that's, a sec, that's also a bridge to Vanity's Fiend because you can add when, once per turn, I get detach, add from grave or field to the hand one card. Yeah, it says I can detach one material from this card, then target one monster on the field or either in either gray or return the target to the hand. I can choose my own fantasy fiend in the graveyard that I dumped with Aerial Eater earlier. With that, that's what starts the fantasy fiend combo. Snake Eyes can do it too. My deck don't rely on special summoning all the time, neither does Snake Eyes. Then I had DDD High King, High Rave High King Caesar, for the special seven negates, and it's not once per turn. Baguska, number forty-one. Baguska, the terrible Tim ta Taper, even one uh, execution night. Very good going second because I get to. See some event at the tar night. Bow everything except for him. Then I'll link it off afterwards. Arthur King of the Noble Knights. That I will explain. With our custom that being used as material. I could get an additional normal summon with, with our custom being used as material. As for Fire Angel set, I I believe I get an extra normal summon, which I do through custodian, but I didn't have a custodian last Sunday on the field to even do so. I did it the other way. There's different ways to go through Fantasy Fiend combo. A lot of ways. Now on to the only sequel monster I use. Chaos Angel, very good, very good. Uh, that's all I got to say for that. Now on to the side deck. Three nib, three draw, three Italian Yang C. Very good against all cards that would spec seven. One uh, dimension shifter for the cross out target. One, if you if they try to do shifter on your turn, then if you either you have a uh, cross out designator or call by, I would my suggestion is to cross out designator, call dimension shifter, and then risk it away. Two customers are going very good. Two Regekis and one Harpy Feathers Duster. The board breakers. Nib is good as a three of, and so is Draw. So, yeah. Alright, get me a moment of time and, uh,.
We going to test it and see what happens. Well, no, not test it exactly, but. Okay. All right, hold on. What you want is that, preferably that, heritage, another um, green. And at least one interruption. This is a going first hand. This is like a going first hand though, so. So if you have a hand like this. First Heritage, if they try, if they have ass box and they gain it, activate call by on your first turn. If it, if you going first, this is going first hand. Heritage, but then call by if they trying to ask it. Heritage will church your Camelot. Research your Camelot. Then put activate Camelot. Activate Camelot. Um, banishing this. Put Noble Knights Round Table in the um, field zone. And summon a Torgus monster from deck or gra grave. You probably want the Noble Knight. Um, Nope, now a Torgus. Then, since grains once per turn, that can happen. It can happen having two grains in hand sometimes. So, it, two grains. Special summon them, not once per turn. Then you link these two off into... Silhouette Rabbit. Silhouette Rabbit will activate. Putting um as a rune face down then if you think you're not going falling in the nib activate graver's effect by discarding it and bringing forth Bring a fourth track, then activate track, add the Loray and then pitch the Loray, then Loray effect to special, then link Loray off into into Requiem. Requiem effect, tribute for cost, to bring forth engraver. Don't use the engraver's effect, graveyard effect yet. Link these two off into sequence. Sequence effect to shuffle back. Loray and um Requiem
to fusion summon into fusion summon into um aerial eater aerial eater of fat dumps um vanity's fiend if I can find it there you go vanity's fiend dump the vanity's fiend Now, now you activate um Vean Smith Engraver's effect. You shuffle the other Vanity's Fiend. Vanity's Engraver. No, the, I mean Vean Smith Engraver's effect. The, the other fat, other um Vean Smith Engraver special. Then you would see summon into M7. M7 of fat. Dump the aerial eater to bring, put, to add fantasy fiend back to your hand. Then you want to tribute sequence. To tribute some infinities being afterwards. Now you got a now you got just in case Fanity's being gets an get you got way to get Azrun out. Some Azrun out, activate rabbits effect, the proper spell trap. And that's all you, that's but fiends but Snake Eyes can probably do this ten times on um, better with more bodies, but Nova Knights can do it too. It's just not as good as Snake Eyes doing the Vanity Fiend combo, but that's that's all we got um, to go up against Meta Decks right now. Yeesh. It's the Fantasy Fiend combo, so. Yep. That's all I got for y'all today, so. See y'all later.